I'm Matt Willis, Marin County Public Health Officer, and I'm here to provide an update on COVID-19 in Marin. Marin County has announced its first case of COVID-19 in a Marin County resident. Over the weekend, one of the returning passengers from the Grand Princess cruise ship that had cruised to Mexico was tested positive for COVID-19 in one of our local hospitals. It was an elderly gentleman. Um, and we see this as an important reminder to protect those most vulnerable in our community. We are now asking people who are above age 65 or with others that have weakened immune systems to think about avoiding some of those larger gatherings where we might see some transmission of COVID-19. We have identified everyone who is in close contact with this individual over the past two weeks to ensure that they're isolating themselves at home and being tested so that we can contain any further spread. It's important to remember that in Marin County, we haven't seen any evidence of active transmission of COVID-19 within our community. This individual was known to us as being at risk because they had been on that Princess cruise ship where there was active transmission occurring. We have other cases in Marin County who are pending results who are also cruise ship returnees and we're uh, recognizing that we may see additional cases, but none of those cases are actually people who were maybe infected within Marin County. We're fortunate so far in Marin County to have a relatively low burden of COVID-19 compared to other counties in the region. Um, we wanna keep it that way. And the way we're gonna do that is by working together to practice those best practices that we've been talking about. This announcement doesn't change our basic message which we've been offering all along, which is how important it is to practice good hand hygiene and respiratory etiquette. So washing your hands frequently for 20 seconds with soap and water, using a gel that might have at least 60% alcohol, um, coughing or sneezing into your, into your sleeve, um, and avoiding gatherings if you are sick or having symptoms, especially as staying home from work or staying home from school.